Hey Scrubs, it's Retro. In this video I'll be going over my favourite backpack mods I use for Skyrim. I love backpack mods and in a game like Skyrim where I'm always hauling loot, they're essential and having a nice variety of backpacks really helps my immersion. As well as that I'd just like to say thank you. The channel has just reached 50 subs which is amazing and I never thought anyone would actually watch anything that I put up. In this video I have 5 mods as well as 2 honourable mentions I use my 400 plus series. I hope you love them as much as I do. On with the show. First up is RGM's Ugly Backpack created by RG Mage 2 and uploaded by Dissonant Values. This backpack is brilliant, it is essentially various objects from Skyrim lashed together in a heinous looking backpack. It has bits and bobs, a mug, a hammer, potions hanging out of it, wine strapped to the side of it, a knapsack, a sleeping mat, swords jutting out from the top with an iron helmet balanced precariously on one of them. <gasps> It's a lot of fun and really complements the playstyle of picking up every single thing you come across. The backpack itself can be crafted for just a leather strip and a piece of leather, however the basic vision has no improved carry weight modifier. The next one up is 3 leather strips and 3 leather and that will grant you a respectable 50 bonus carry weight. The next is the same requirement but also a grand soul gem all the way up to 200 bonus carry weight. I love putting this backpack on Lydia as I always load her out with my junk and so this is very, very amusing to me. The fact that it's packed the bursting with random bits means that it's great for a first backpack for any would-be adventurers. The Mage Backpack by Soma Dolly is an excellent backpack for any magic user and also has stats that could benefit all characters. The mod has an excellent installer that lets you choose how the backpack will look in-game and the flag on the bottom of the backpack can be changed to represent any of the schools of magic. Be that restoration, conjuration, destruction, alteration. The installer also allows you to choose a color for the backpack in game, ranging from various shades of brown and two shades of black for the backpack. Finally, the installer allows you to configure the carry weight bonus for the mage backpack with either 50, 100, 150 or 200 extra carry weight and an additional plus 25 magic resistance and plus 5 speed making this backpack extremely helpful dealing with strong casters and the extra speed is a really nice addition with scrolls poking out of it a bedroll and a potion strapped to the side this backpack looks awesome and these little details really do impress me and help my immersion this mod is more than just a simple craftable backpack however to craft it you need to get a note from the Archmage's quarters in the College of Winterhold that details the extra ingredient that it needs, one of which is a magic powder that is dropped by a new beast added in this mod, the Mud Monolith. Seek out the creature and defeat it and you can craft the enchanted versions of this backpack. Without it, you can craft the unenchanted version, but that isn't what we're about, is it? The Mead Keg Backpack by Dr. Soup 3. This backpack is magnificent. A true Nord's first drink of the day should always be some hearty mead. And with this in mind, the author has hired my calls. The Mead Keg Backpack is exactly what you'd expect. A barrel of mead strapped to your back with cups lashed to it and a hammer for hammering in the stopper. The details here are great and the Mead Keg even has an awesome little tap on the bottom. The mead keg backpack can be crafted for 10 firewood, 8 leather strips, 4 iron ingots, 2 tankards and 1 blacksmith hammer. The keg also provides its wearer with an additional 100 points of bonus carry weight. This is an essential mod for any true Nord or Welshman. Leather backpacks re-release for SSE by lawsman1325. This is a backpack mod I feel like many users will remember from Old Rim. The leather backpack was the go-to backpack mod. I think what really attracts people about this backpack is that it's very law friendly and it's not meant to be so overt as to draw attention to it, meaning that it fits in nicely with whatever you may be wearing, whether that's modded or not, and it feels thematically appropriate within Skyrim compared to some of the other mods on this list. I'm looking at you, Mead Keg Backpack. The mod is a brilliant modular installer with four backpack colors to choose from. You can tick all four options if you'd like to see and have all four variations available in the game. Keep in mind that each backpack selected in the mod will take up its own individual ESP slot. Each backpack also has the option to be installed with or without its straps. 
I always choose without straps. I don't like the straps to clip through with any modern armors or outfits that I might have installed. You can also choose here how much of a carry weight buff you get from the backpacks, be it 50, 100 or 300 extra carry weight. Finally, the backpacks aren't added to the level list, but you can craft them with a steel ingot, three leather strips and three leather. So it's a great way to boost your carry weight early game for all the loot. The Adventurer's Backpack on Creation Club. I don't usually take much stock in the Creation Club, however this backpack set is incredible. There are 16 variations of the backpack and they can all be either crafted or bought from merchants. There are different backpacks, one for each major playstyle being Thief, Mage and Adventurer standing in for Warrior. And these backpacks boost your carry weight by 75 points alongside boosting Sneak, Magicka or Stamina also. There is also a Hunter's Backpack which adds the carry weight and also 20% more bow damage. These specialized backpacks look great and with the hunter's backpack having a bird skull on it, the adventurer pack has a torch with a sword, the mage backpack has soul gems, potions and a scroll on it and the thief backpack has lockpicks and daggers strapped to it. There are a few variations to the normal backpack in styles such as fur and fine leather, however these provide no additional values beyond the carry weight. Finally each backpack has an alternative style which includes a bedroll strapped to it. Honorable mentions, wearable tomes by Robbie. This mod adds in tomes that can be crafted and equipped on your front or back and each tome will provide you a bonus to whichever school of magic you have crafted the tome for. For example at the start of my warrior campaigns I usually craft a basic tome of restoration as it gives 25% reduced casting cost for restoration spells. This mod is excellent for any playthrough and the tome crafting bench is located in Dragon's Reach on the right as you enter through the main doors. The requirements are basic being a roll of paper, leather strips. However, for the more advanced spell cost reductions you will need a filled soul gem that meets the crafting requirements. Bandoliers and Pouches by Drag10. This mod is a great mod in general but excels as a companion mod to many on this list. It provides belts, pouches, bandoliers and vial holders plus book holders and each of these boosts your overall carry weight. These have great synergy with this list as you could be using the mage backpack as a magic user and then also equip a set of vials to your front creating even more of a masterful wizard type look. The bandoliers are also an excellent way to give dungeon delvers more capacity or if you'd prefer to not have a backpack on then bandoliers is a great way to get the extra carry weight without having to need a backpack. The crafting requirements for these are reasonable, with most needing leather and some other component, and you can also use frostbite venom to create darker versions of the leather pouches. There are also dark brotherhood versions of the bandolier that can spawn our assassins, as well as legionary pouches. If you've made it this far I applaud you. Leave me a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content, let me know in the comments what you'd like to see me cover in the future. Peace.